coming last time on of dyson dens so should i fake out and be like i don't have a stake and then try and jab a stake through his heart <laughs> he sees okay. it coming and bats your hand out of the way and actually knocks that stake to the side i've got three more where those come from <laughs> good to know oh, damn. i mean <laughs> so mabel is now charmed and i guess i should roll her initiative oh boy grabs Darwin by the neck and kind of lifts him up and throws him against the wall. As he slides to the ground, he says, You haven't seen the last of me. He turns into a mist and floats down the grate. I'm going to light one of my candles and uh, use it to light the coffin on fire so I don't get distracted and have by something I'm not sure what. (laughs) You see pretty much all the main NPCs of the town. What? You killed our people. <laughs> you guys are monsters. Having successfully slain the Lord of Blackpool, our heroes are confronted by an angry mob. Can they talk them down or will they be chased out of town? Find out now with our conclusion to Of Dyson Den's Fog Over Blackpool. And then one of them says, I saw that one. He was a vampire. What? Which one? Uh, Which which one was that? (laughs) Oh, wait. Cora. (laughs) Uh, Hi. (laughs) 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 Oh. (laughs) I forgot. You still look like Cora. Oh. Is Cora in the room? Cora is in the room with you, tucked in the corner. Oh, shit. (laughs) We all back up. We all back up behind Cora. (laughs) Like Guys, Jason there's been a Cora. big misunderstanding. Did you arrest them? <laughs> Listen. Hey, the, they um, killed our people with magic. Yeah, he's, they killed them with magic. And then you, you see... understand why you're fearful of magic? But uh, can I... Do you want me to do like a charisma check? Uh, or as, a... as they're saying this... <laughs> I didn't kill anybody with magic. Uh, Solana Mostum, the priestess... Oh yay! From the uh, yeah. the the temple of Eldath, mm-hmm. comes in with the dead guard. Second mm-hmm. episode. Saying, Whatever. Uh, "Yes, and magic will return them to life." Oh <laughs> shit! Might yeah. Be put on the spot. No, no, no. she's the one who raised. <laughs> what happened before. to the guard, oh, guys? Like, yeah. But I have. The... Well, you can spare raise the it. dying. You can do it too. Well, that just keeps them from rotting, right? <clears throat> But yeah, spare the, dying, spare the dying stabilizes oh, them. Whatever. If they're already dead, they're dead for her. Most of um, But uh, she says, while, while you folks were being ignorant and ignoring the facts, these people found and destroyed two vampires. Woohoo! <laughs> How do you even know that? Where's your evidence that they were vampires? And Mabel says, "Do we have the journal?" Yeah, <laughs> you can show them that you show them the journal, saying it's all you know. Go ahead, say. It. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a little angsty in parts. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mabel comes forward and says, "We've been down there for months, years." And then you see the Fletchers. Years. Some yeah. of them. Oh. And then you see the Fletchers just start crying and they oh. run and say, "We thought you were gone." <laughs> <clears throat> and they look at you and say. Thank you. Your ways are unorthodox. <laughs> <That's> for sure. <laughs> but God damn it, you get results. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and our, our fees are office. very reasonable. <laughs> I feel like I should... oh, wait, are we not charging a fee? I'm no. so... Oh, okay. Um, Never mind. Nope. Never mind. We can, um, then, uh... There is some, some fees out there. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh... You know, in finger paint land... <laughs> It's customary. <laughs> so, so who was, who was the vampire? Oh, your Lord, Lord, Lord 
dragon Darvin. guy. <laughs> and you see Straight Lionel in the back, his kind of face. And Movolo, or gets whatever. Kinda and then Dar- guy. Darvin's, Darvin's brother, mm-hmm. Lionel Darvin. Like, hmm. oh, that's that would explain why he didn't want to talk Hang anymore. Out. Come to family game nights. Because <coughs> we played outside. I, <laughs> the I day. have to admit that <laughs> I am sad to lose my brother, but it's evident that I lost him five years ago. Yeah, because he's a vampire. I, Can Darvin figured, come out to play? We figured no. it out like almost immediately, right? In fact, we, were we just thought like, it was kind of silly. It yeah, was for real. Easy. I mean, it was like, oh, the guy he doesn't come out at night, daytime anymore, and it's all foggy. And it's this is a girl. mystery, and we're like, vampire, obviously. <laughs> Like, you guys are dumb. Oh, Jesus. Uh, she's, Did, she's suffering from smoke inhalation. Yeah. Navia. <laughs> down, I fell down a down. hole. Give her a sugar cube. Give her a sugar cube. Sugar cube. Here's a carrot. An apple. Um, so, um, Lionel says, well, um, I guess as, you know, the brother of Lord Darwin, um, it's uh, my responsibility now, and I would say that um, you guys did nothing wrong. Woo-hoo. By the way, oh, Jay, you still you still have those two guys charmed. Oh, that's mighty big of you. <laughs> yeah, well. He doesn't know how, how long. Oh, his... that charm doesn't last too much longer. No, he doesn't know Wait, how to no. use his powers. <laughs> Can I? I just here's the thing. I just wondered if. Could I ask either of them if they're much of a dancer? Either of them? <laughs> okay. Dapo says he is. Oh, sweet. So if I were to play a little music on my bagpipes, then, you know, just, just I, I'll ask him. I don't. I won't force him to dance, but I will say, hey, would you be interested in dancing to some bagpipe music? He can say no. Well, he can roll to see what he says. Says I'm kind of still a little sore. Thank you. Fair. That's maybe fair. uh, maybe later. Next time. Um, All right, and Lionel cool. says, um, "Let's get let's get everyone you know patched up, and I think uh, you, you still you still need to uh, bring our, our our captain of the guard back to life." Mm. Um, <laughs> and Cora, uh, <laughs> there are two. Cora's. Yeah, let me go get this cowboy fella I met the other day. Hold on one second. Let me go <laughs> down sure the stairs. Clomp, 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 <laughs> clomp, clomp, clomp. <laughs> <laughs> behind the dresser we moved earlier. I do like the Austin <laughs> Powers leg. Yep. <laughs> he lets you guys uh, kind Eat of... Eat for free. Yay! I mean, I mean yeah. <laughs> Yay. Um, he says, let us, let us get things straightened out and... Uh, Can we stay in town and help tom- establish a tom- democracy? Tomorrow night, <laughs> we'll have a celebration for the freedom of Blackpool. Wait, is the mist still outside? <laughs> I don't know. You want to look outside? Yes. So you walk outside, <laughs> and it is still foggy. Oh, no. Damn it. But there is no creepy shit in the fog. Yay. Mm. And you see... uh no creepy shit. What's her name? Yay. The old the old lady. Uh, You're the most patient little dog. Uh, All right, okay. What's her name? Fiznick looks over to what's his name and is like, hey, you think it'll burn off by noon? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was her name? <laughs> Crap, where is she? Oh, you've the... been talking about her a lot, and I don't remember this character at all. The old lady that you went That's and talked to? about to die? Yeah, oh. Dagmar. Dagmar Sisto. She says, she says, so, you guys, you know, there's comments on how there's still fog. Yeah. And she says, yes, it, great evil takes time to dissipate, but it will go away. You can already tell with the lack of Swords and hands and such. <laughs> Those natural that the, <laughs> that the evil is gone, and now the darkness just needs to fade. The town is saved. That's very deep. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I have a cure disease. That'll be 500 <laughs> gold pieces, just please. Just <laughs> She's just dying of old. Oh, I can't turn oh, back time. Just... Don't turn back town. <laughs> I would save this old lady <laughs> from a worldly death in her neck. All right. <laughs> she heard you say all that. <laughs> oh. All right. Next so, time. Uh, so, um, 
they definitely invite you to <gasps> chill for a while if you wish. Definitely got a uh, free room and board. Can I? Now uh, these these rooms um, might I not just, be at the end. <laughs> I just have to ask. Yeah, like, there are. Where are these rooms, and where where can are, we go are, when we need to go? I think you need to go outside. Like a there party. are many oh. uh, houses uh, in and around town that, over the years, with folks leaving and disappearing, are available. Just all you have to do is dust off the covers and, uh, you know, pick a house, I guess. Inside I, asked, of it. I asked Dagmar if she would like some a live-in nurse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, dear. I'm fine. I'll live forever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do <laughs> do any of them like have anything? libraries? Really what? <laughs> any of the houses? Person. Just yes. Dagmar's house. Punk-ass book jockeys. Oh, you farted. Okay, we'll take that one. <laughs> Daniel, come on. <laughs> What's that, Fizzbeck? Oh, I asked if any of the houses had libraries. Just Dagmar's. If so, we'd take that one. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We all move in with Dagmar <laughs> and take care of her. <laughs> and breathe the mold in her house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move well, like her this. and her books. Shh, Dagmar, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, just <laughs> let... pillows. Let... No. <laughs> Um, so, you know, you guys stay a few days and, you know, there's, there's a raucous celebration and, um, uh, you know, at, at the, uh, celebration, uh, uh, you know, Lionel, you know, has a, I didn't write anything, so Lionel just gives a really great speech about you guys and. How he was right from the start, how awesome you were. Lazy motherfucker. And... <laughs> put it in Women swoon, yeah. men cheer. Mm-hmm. It really it moved the other everyone. Way and now, because of what's his name, magic is allowed, but music is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the, 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 the bagpipe. Yeah, uh, Solana can now openly use her magic instead of Yay. being covert about it. Um, in fact, you've probably. Because magic was the finishing blow, uh, you know they have you recount your story. Um, you know they're gonna they, they actually almost have done a one eighty on magic, and it's it's more welcome than ever. Fickle little bitches. <laughs> Can I like shoot my wand up into the air a couple of times with some agonizing blasts, just sure. green Do sparks up in the night, and they go woo. Um, um, and you gotta be uh, careful with those. So uh, Lionel. Uh, tells you um, that he's paid Dagmar to let you go through her uh, storeroom of items. Um, so, you know, pay her a visit when you get a chance. I'm like the first one there. <laughs> All right, so okay, fast I, forward. I'm <laughs> camping out like it's a rock concert. <laughs> <laughs> or like, you know, Twilight. Uh, premiere. <laughs> yep. Fiznik. <laughs> like, you guys go off and do whatever it is you're going to do, and you go to Dagmar's house, and you see this little pile of little gnome clothes sitting by the door going, hey, wondering when the rest of you'd show up. <laughs> so, let me see if I can remember how to get to my page I made. <laughs> For magic items. I'm testing Dagmar's vitals. <laughs> while, you while we visit with her. All right, so let's start with Fiznik. Nice. What am All I right, rolling? Let's roll a d20. Seven. All right. You found an orange crate. Ooh, I open it. <laughs> And it, eats it you. is empty. Aww. But what you do discover, Dagmar tells you, oh, who's that? It is a foldable disguise that can be reduced to the size of a book. It takes one action to unfurl and refurl. <laughs> and it is, <laughs> it's a, it is, disguises as a crate of oranges and provides you plus one to stealth checks. Nice. 
<laughs> so you can, so can it be like my any disguise? My fae overlords will enjoy this greatly. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh Grin. Yes. Roll a d20. Okay. I'm rolling everything on this one, by the way, so you've got a 3% chance of getting a legendary item. Mm, damn. Oh, nine. Nine? Kiki! Is. Oh, that's a rare item. The Sword of Life Stealing. Mmm. That's sexy. Dangerous for. Well, not dangerous for Grin, but like. <laughs> it's probably best. Is it for Grin. short or long? Well, let's find out. I'm bringing it up now because that's that's not an official one. So. I'm told that the breadth matters more than the, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it can be anywhere from short to great. <laughs> See, I that's noticed that it's said. short. <laughs> it hangs a little to the left. Uh, if you Does attack a creature slightly? with this magic weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, that target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage if it isn't a construct or undead, you also gain 10 temporary hit points. Basically, you're stealing some health. Hmm. With each hit? If you roll or a 20. Just if I roll so a basically, 20. if you nat it, not only do you get mm -hmm. your nat, you also get an extra 10 necrotic damage if it's not a construct or undead, and you get 10 temporary hit points. Wow. So if she's attacking a wolf... And she crits, just for example. Yeah. Uh, a short sword is what? what a D6? Oh, yeah. Whatever. So, probably four. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll say D6. So she throws 2D6 for the damage. Yep. Plus an additional 10 necrotic. Or whatever the card says, too. <laughs> she, got, she, got, she got a rare item. You, you unfortunately got a common item. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Um, yeah. What's it called again? It's called the Sword of Life Stealing. It's kind of it's a... also my ex-wife. Am I right, guys? Yeah. 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 Whoa. All Whoa. right. <laughs> What's his name? Let's roll right. a D twenty. D twenty. D twenty. D twenty. That's a thirteen. Lucky number. Wow. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. This is a very rare item. Mm. It's a figurine of wondrous power, obsidian mm. steed. Mm. Oh, cute. So I need to find out what this My is. daddy used to collect those sorts it's of things. In, oh, actually, the Dungeon Master's Guide on here. Little tiny this is like a magical adventures. advent calendar. This is fantastic. <laughs> if, I, if I remember correctly, it's a little statue you carry in your pocket, and when you need it, you get a giant black horse. Ooh. Yep, a figurine of wondrous power is a statuette of a beast small enough to fit in a pocket. If you use an action to speak the command word and throw the figurine to a point on the ground within 60 feet of you, the figurine becomes a living creature. Uh, the space where the creature would appear is occupied by other creatures' objects, or if there's enough space for the creature, the figurine doesn't, just doesn't become a creature. Uh, it's friendly to you and your companions. It understands your language and obeys your spoken commands. If you issue no commands, the creature defends itself but takes no other actions. Uh, it exists for a duration based on the figures, so we'll have to look up, although Steed is probably pretty dang good. At the end of the duration, the creature just reverts to its figurine form, um, and if it's killed, it just returns back to a figurine. Um, Can I use it to play, like, the scariest game of chess that's ever been played? <laughs> I thought Harry Potter always you did that. Okay, Obsidian Steed. This polished obsidian horse can become a nightmare... For up, to 20, for up to 24 hours, the nightmare fights only to defend itself. Once it has been used, it can't be used again until five days have passed. Damn. If wow. you have a good alignment, the figurine has a 10% chance each time you use it to ignore your orders, oh, including <laughs> it to revert to figurine form. Mm. If you mount the nightmare while it is ignoring your orders, you and the nightmare are instantly transported to a random location on the planet of Hades, where the nightmare reverts to figurine form. <laughs> so unless you want to go there i wouldn't do that <laughs> i will mm -hmm. i will put this together and send it to you jay please do <laughs> <laughs> all right so 
I will forget I have it <laughs> within minutes. <laughs> Until he's like Sorry. emptying his pockets and he's <laughs> like, oh, blunderbuss. And then it turns into a. <laughs> oh, blunderbuss. So I've got plans for you two, so I'm not giving you very rare or legendary items. Oh, fair. Um, Navia. Let's roll a deep one. 12. 12. Mystery key. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like something Grin should have had. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, that's used in so many things. I need to be more specific. Can I wear it around my neck like like Robin Hood Men Tights? This is the key to greatest treasure. Yeah, this way. is on the list of best magic I'm items in Xanthar's Guide that I looked up before. <coughs> <laughs> Mystery key. This is a mysterious key with a question <laughs> mark worked into its head. Question mark, you said? Yes. Okay. It has a 5% chance of unlocking any lock that it's used on. Once it unlocks something, it disappears. Aww. So don't waste it on a chastity belt. <laughs> <laughs> Call the locksmith! <laughs> Call the locksmith! But you could use it when I'm not around. <laughs> yes. Yeah. True. Or if you're locked in jail for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only way we can get Grin out. You got a... Five percent. Oh, poor Navi is a latchkey kid. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. Sixteen. All right. Ooh, you managed to get a rare item. I thought you said you weren't giving me. One. I wasn't doing very rare or legendary. Oh, got it. Uh, I you think gave me like a disguise one. kit. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, it's it's you look like a box of oranges. A kind of orange. <laughs> oh, so he turns into a box of oranges. It's not like yeah, I kind oh, of misunderstood that. No, it's, it it unfolds into a crate of oranges in which he can hide and it gives him bonus to his stuff. <laughs> oh, I thought it was wow. like it just like it comes. They it obviously base it on it. solid. Snake. So it looks like he's an orange salesman. Orange. That's I was what gonna I say I I feel like I should pay one of you every time I take damage to go, Fiznik. Snake! 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 Um, wings of flying. Oh dear. Okay. It's a cloak. While wearing this cloak, you can use an action to speak its command word, which I think you come up with. Oh yeah. Um, this turns the cloak into a pair of bat wings, or bird wings, your choice, on your back for one hour or until you repeat the, code, the command word as an action. The wings give you a flying speed of 60 feet. When they disappear, you can't use them again for 1d12 hours. What is it called? Wings of Flying. <laughs> that seems redundant. I mean, I guess it's mm-hmm. a chicken. Which, of wings which you have three, maybe. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. I could sneak so many places with those. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, I got an orange box all. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Navia. Uh-oh. Question, are we allowed to trade if someone wants Once to? Once you got it, you got it. Um Navia. I feel like yeah. would that work for Navia? So that she can get up and down. It doesn't say you can't. Because I think that's something you need. <laughs> I, what, what is it? It's a cloak that can turn into bat or bird wings. Okay. And then you can fly 60 feet. And then once you use it, you just can't use it again for 1d12 hours. I mean, we could trade. Or I can hold key. it for you. Or or that. Or maybe I can just borrow it if I need to. Yeah. Totally. I'll just borrow it if that I need to. That sounds good. Yeah. And if anybody needs to. Yeah, it doesn't, even, it doesn't require attunement. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just borrow Perfect. it. Perfect. Well, we have a way to get you around place. Sweet. Yay! <laughs> wait, you get, if you have there... to get up somewhere, too, you can always just like take it off and drop it. Down. Totally. And then hope, and then wait an hour to 12 for someone yeah, else to use it. that's true. <laughs> so it's something to make her an even more frightening chimera, can... is what we're saying. Right, basically we're <laughs> red on that. Can someone ride me while <gasps> I'm using it? Um, that's I awesome. guess we could I probably mean, do it, but it would probably slow you to half speed, which I think is the case if someone's fine, riding you anyway. Yeah. Which is fine. So you'd fly half <clears throat> Yes. Are you just testing to see? Yeah. If you get? Uh, so can, can while you guys are kind of going through into stuff, a box of oranges, <laughs> <laughs> you get a flying box of oranges. It's gonna be like flying toasters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you for listening to episode 17 of Of Dyson Dens. This is the last episode of this adventure. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been very interesting. Uh, again, the adventure we're doing is Fog Over Blackpool by uh, Seth Tomlinson. I got it off dmsguild.com, so please check it out. Every episode has a link to the module. Also, you could just visit the webpage, and the resources page has it on it as well. Please support smaller creators. That's what I'm trying to do here. I would, I love being able to do smaller adventures and putting them in people's faces. So the next episode is going to be a little bit different. It's actually a, a little bit split up because I wanted to record it and not everyone was available at the same time, but they didn't need to be because I'm going to be doing a bit of a character work on this one. So I'm doing like 10 to 15 minutes of individual storytelling. Some of them are memories. Some of those are basically events, things like that, just to flesh out these characters a little bit more and get the players to kind of think about their people a little more. It, we've already recorded a lot of it at this time, and it's been it's been actually a lot of fun and very interesting and learned some things that I don't think anyone at, the, at that point had known about their characters. It's very interesting, uh, so that'll be coming out soon. Please visit odndpodcast.com. Uh, you can see all of our stuff there, resources, all that. Also visit StolenDress.com, who is our podcast network. That includes Comedy on Vinyl, What's With You, Scooby-Doo, Dispatches from For Awesome, the Dan J's Comedy Hour podcast, coming soon, the Professional Blur podcast. And you can reach us on Twitter at ODND Pod. You can reach us on Facebook at ODND Podcast. You can reach us on email at ODNDPod at gmail.com. And again, the music in this is by Kevin McLeod at Incomptech.com and was used under Creative Commons Attribution License. Now a uh, quick charity word and then back to the adventure. Of Dyson Dens is a proud supporter of Fuck Cancer, Roll Dice. Fuck Cancer, Roll Dice is a yearly streaming event dedicated to fundraising for the fight against cancer. This year's event will feature numerous tabletop games, from D&D to Call of Cthulhu, and a wonderfully wide cast of hosts and players. Streams will run over the course of three days, from November 22nd to November 24th, and we would be delighted if you would join us at twitch.tv slash coach underscore Zach. That's twitch.tv slash coach underscore Z-A-C. All proceeds from the event will go directly to Fuck Cancer, an organization dedicated to uniting the community in an effort to prevent, detect, and defeat cancer. They work hard to build support networks for those who have been diagnosed and to assist in detecting cancer before it's too late. You can find more information about Fuck Cancer on their website at letsfcancer.com. All donations will be handled via Tiltify, so you can be certain where your money is going. So if you're a fan of tabletop games or even new to the community, we welcome you with open arms. Join us the weekend of November 22nd where we say, Fuck Cancer, Roll Dice. So Navia, uh, Dagmar notices your really cool sword. Uh-huh. That you, uh, your big butt that you that you found. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, is, can I see that? Sure. She looks at it like, oh, this is this is a sort of moonlight, isn't it? I guess it does moony stuff. <laughs> and she's like, what's that? What's that dagger you have as well? Do I have a dagger. You have your like dad's dagger. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. That's your like special item. Do I have that? Yeah, I went through your bio. I don't <laughs> oh, know if it's on you there. You snooped in it's, your house. It's, it's, it's on your, your handwritten stuff. Oh, I didn't write He's that down. Let me write dungeon that down. Stalker. Like daddy's dad. Daddy's. It's right, daddy. Dagger. <laughs> That's a, something really creepy Spell about Spell dagger. Yeah. yeah, it's supposed to be my dad's that I forgot about. <laughs> I re- totally remembered. I remember <laughs> whenever Navia talks about her father, she's like, my daddy. <laughs> that was my daddy. <laughs> Money daddy please. would give me... Uh, well, Daddy gave me him dead. Um, <laughs> well, she, she says, blades with a history. Is your, how is your father? He's dead. 
<laughs> both your parents are dead. Both they were murdered in oh, a raid. Right. Both my parents are dead. And so you were raised by the chief and you hated it because he made you a fighter. Yeah. Um... <laughs> God, why did I forget all my I own backstory? God I'm, damn it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to bring it in. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 he got, he got dead. He got the dead dead. So that, that blade has meaning for you, Very apparently. Much so. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, my daddy gave me this key, too. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> <laughs> A weapon crafted. From a heirloom such as that uh, could be very powerful. Um, I will. I would <laughs> talk to Donner Longlade. Donner Longlade. The, that's the blacksmith. blacksmith. Before he played He Man in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Before the fog came, he was well known for working with. Mysterious metals and magical items. Perhaps if you gave him the two weapons, he could make something for you. That's worth a shot. As long as he doesn't like really mess this thing up, because it's actually <laughs> he is it's one actually... of the he is one of the <laughs> finest blacksmiths okay. in the Tri County metal. area. <laughs> 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 Super Just take your, uh, your swords I've down there to Tri State. <laughs> in the five years that he's been here. <laughs> I'll go see the blacksmith. <laughs> um, and we'll take care of yours next time. That's fine. <clears throat> That's fine. I, I understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you, uh, do you all go with her or do you go your. Kind of just fuck around while she goes there. I'll go with her. Yay. My I'm going to go riding in the prairie on my lizard, lizard friend. We haven't hung out in a bit. Yeah, that's true. You, you and should, Daisy should go riding. You should take some, uh, take your steed and have someone go with you. <laughs> I'm going to um check on the Fletchers, see how they're doing. Okay, good idea. Oh, on our way to the blacksmith, can we stop by my chickens? Yes. <laughs> 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 So uh, you, uh, you, Navia, and what's his name head over to the tavern. He gets Daisy. You get your three chickens, <laughs> and they're they're doing alright. You can tell they've just kind of been pecking and scratching around the tavern door. Or the, I lovingly uh, named them one, two, and three. I thought you already gave them names. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I thought one was like Bertha or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah you uh, you wrote them down somewhere. Oh. Did I? Yeah. Bettina? Did you name him one Bettina after I returned to Oz? <laughs> I should, though. Bettina, Bertha, and who's the other right. one? <laughs> He's got this rich backstory, rich thing, and I'm like, Dur, Dur, Dur. What bag? What you talking about? Dad. You're the one from my dead dad. <laughs> He's got dad. dad. <laughs> okay. Bettina. Dad. Bertha. I'm with my dad. These, no, these are, these, are, these are their forever names. And Bella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're in my forever home. Yay. Yay. All right, so, okay, you got... The other one was named Bob. Mm. <laughs> and he's gone. Bob the Builder. Bob the Dead Chicken. Um, all right, so what's your name? You take uh, Daisy out for a gallop. Um, and then you two head on over to the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. um, oh, shit. Yeah. I need them while they're at the blacksmith to get me a plaque that says my lizard rescued me. Just while you're there. <laughs> who rescued who? Yeah. All right. We'll commission that for you. All right. Um, we'll go to uh, Grin. Visiting the Fletchers. Yeah. Let me, let me throw I some started... pictures up for you because you guys decided not to pay them a visit earlier on. Oh, wait. Are, are the girls both the Fletcher family, or just Mabel? There, the Mabel was the one that was kidnapped, but there was okay. a there was a younger sister who was going to work with uh, what's her name, the yes. weird named one, uh, Link Sphere, to go to that keep and find out what was going on with the girls because that's where they thought the missing girls went. Okay, do we know where the other girls from? What? That's that's their daughter too. Oh, okay. that's what you that's, that's what I was asking. Oh. <laughs> that's what I was asking. Not that much. Although I kind of, no. kind of, 
Kind of, kind of close. Kind, kind of close. Too dissimilar. There you go. <laughs> so that's only she's rocking her natural gray. That's Ariel Fletcher. Do they make arrows? They are. They run the general store. <sighs> Beldak Fletcher. Uh, Anna Fletcher. <laughs> Is the the daughter no, that you? was gonna? And Jessica. She's yep. Yeah. She's the one. She's the one who ended up not dead. Um. Are these pictures that were in the uh, uh, module or? No, I I found all these people. Basically. And there's yes. Mabel. Mabel, Mabel, strong and able. Get your elbows off the table. Uh, okay. On the table, table you must go. Dining table. On the table. You must <laughs> okay. Um, so you go to uh, the general goods store. You know, I want to change my last name to General, so that I open a grocery store, so it's General's Goods Store. <laughs> anyway, uh, what you up to, Green? <laughs> What's happening now? <laughs> she was going to say hi to the I, Fletchers, I, and that's where we left it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, uh, when I walk in, who's there? Um, you see all of them. They're all there. Okay. Um, with everything that happened, they, they're they kind of not really um, going far away from each other very often anymore. They're kind of like, kind of becoming more close to Oh, I forgot they have a son, too. Oh, shit. <coughs> little, like Tom little Bjorn. Mm. Bjorn. Oh, huh. he's cute. Looks like Jody Whitaker. He did a little bit. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, so they're all there. Like you know, they're running the store, but Ooh. more just enjoying, just being with each other. Each other. Because they're a good family that loves each other. Yeah. Weirdos. The one, the one that Navia never had. Yeah. Or Grin. Grin had one. Well, I mean, she's lost it. Sorry. She ran away from it. No. To protect, it. To protect it. She ran to protect it. It's like the yeah. fugitive, right? The so one she misses, let's say. Yes. Yes. Um. So. You guys never got locked I just in wanted What's to. What's the fun in that? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to check on how. Um, you two are doing? I know you're probably still healing and um... well, oh you met the other girls. They're they were yeah. uh un unnamed in the module. They were just a a, a minor oh, okay. daughter. So they're kind of outside of town. I did give them names. Okay. But um Alright, so but I wanna check on how Mabel's doing since yeah. I don't know where those girls are, but at least we know they're healed, I guess. Yeah. Um you know she's she's had a lot of blood drained from her, so she's not like you know doing skipping. car wheels <laughs> and skipping. Yeah, she's mostly just kind of sitting. But there's smiles on everyone's faces, and you can tell that they were just having a very you know raucous conversation. Till you showed up. Till mm -hmm. you showed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, mm. um, no. Uh, Beldak beams when Grin walks in. Aww. It's like it's one of the heroes of Blackpool. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Man, what can I do for you? Me. Oh, I just wanted to see if there's anything else I can do for you since, um, you know, it, you went through a really hard time. I couldn't imagine anything more that you could do for us than bring our daughter back to us alive and well. <coughs> what you guys did was amazing. Uh, it, We'd been under this under this threat for years. You know, more than the five years that Darwin apparently was under it. Because he went to the, to the castle to find out what was happening. It, it had been almost a decade. Mm. You, you've, you've saved this town. You've saved our livelihood. Perhaps we'll become prosperous again now that, you know, the fog will go away and people won't be afraid to come here anymore. I hope so. Um, uh, have there been any other uh, whispers of anything 
in other towns that have been um, having any problems that weren't missed or missing people? Uh, we haven't really seen anyone from outside our little bubble yet. Um, I think it may take mm. time for news to spread. Uh, the gem keeper, what's his name? Whatever he is, kind of. No, kind no, of a, that's the cowboy. Kind of a dick. Yeah, um, that's the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, he's he's uh, Greenwater. That's his name. Uh, he, you know, he sends you know information to the other towns along with the the jewelry and stuff he's been making. He's never really felt the effects of the fog, um, so I don't hmm. think it'll be too much longer before we start seeing folks pay us a visit again. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad that you're um, together now. Yes. Our family is whole again. Mm-hmm. Does it say how long she was gone? Yeah, she was the most recent, so she was only there for a couple of weeks. Oh. Yeah. That's not so bad. Yeah. Not, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> um... All right. Well, I'm glad to see you are happy and together, and I'm going to um, bid you a good day. Well, well, one moment. One moment. He digs behind uh, behind the counter, and he puts up um, five magic potions on. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five magic potions <laughs> <laughs> on the counter. Uh, uh, the uh, not like small magic, but like medium magic, like the two d four one or whatever. It's like, please take these for your trouble. There's, we've not much money, but this this is the least we can do for what you did for us. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. So the grin can either distribute that or just keep them all for herself. Whatever. Yeah, that's all her. <laughs> I'll use them as needed. Um, <laughs> okay, thank you so much, and I'll I'll head out. Um, and then I want to, uh, well. Wait, have you guys gone to the black ship uh, smith yet? Nope, they were on their way. And then we okay. cut to... Then I'll, then I'll head over there, I guess. All right. So you guys are heading over to the blacksmith, and as yep. you're walking on over, Grin kind of shows up next to you. And uh, you guys all walk into the blacksmith shop. All right. Another place you haven't been. So when you walk in, you see a man, you know, working, working the uh, anvils. Wang, wang. Oh, oops, I over, <laughs> overwrote his picture with his wife's picture. Yeah. I think. Uh, it could be a lady blacksmith. Mombazo. Mombazo. Wait a minute. Yeah, so I don't have a picture. Lady here. Smith, black Mombazo. Never mind. But wow. uh, you see you see him working the uh, anvil, and you see his wife <laughs> working the leather table. They work together, and they make Aww. armor and weapons and just about anything. What not? Between the two of them, they can make just about anything. Okay. Welcome to the shop. How can I help you? Well, um, oh crap, what was her name? Dan Navia. No, fuck you. <laughs> Dagmar. 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 Mm-hmm. I was like Danvers. No, that's Miss Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. This is Donner and Murdoch. Okay, so. Oh, Murdoch's his son. What's Dagmar oh, suggested I come here and show you guys my swords. <laughs> Because they're pretty cool. Oh, you know this what? One... I think I did decide just to make him a woman instead. Husband. Yo, husband. Oh, daughter, Yonina, is the one who works the leather. Okay. And and Turkula. Yeah, she does. Whatever. Whoever you are, whichever it's, one. Yeah. No, I have all the information here. Okay. Tur- <laughs> are, am I good? Yeah. So... Dagmar suggested I come here and show you my weapons. This one glows in Ooh. the dark. It's sort of moonlight. It's moonlighty, and this one was my dad's, and he's dead. <laughs> so, so aren't they neat? <laughs> they're, See, they're very, they're, they're very nice. Is uh, there anything you would like? Anything you need? She said something about you making something out of them, but I don't know about that because. <laughs> That sounds like you're going to do something to break this one, and I don't want you to break this one, because it was my dad's and he's dead, and it's sentimental. Um, yeah, uh, so he, he, he's like, may I, may I see them? Yes. So he, he, he takes the, 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 the moonlight blade, and he's like, this is a, definitely a fine example of one of these. Um, cool, it does pretty well. Yeah. 
Um, and then he he picks up the the dagger and he puts on his little eyepiece and says, "Well, I mean, this dagger's kind of kind of not you know just kind of a normal dagger, but it's." Sentimental value is through the roof. Yeah, it's very special to me. <laughs> I mean, it's not. I don't even. I don't even have it listed in my weapons because it's really not a good dagger. But uh... um, <laughs> so, if you leave these with me, mm-hmm. what I can do is I can embed the dagger in your sword, mm-hmm. and the magics of your ancestors mm-hmm. would imbue it mm-hmm. with, with powers. Okay. Can I like just keep the handle part though, just like as a as like a memento? Because you're not gonna put the handle yeah, in it. No, right? I won't need to put the handle. Okay. Can I at least have that to keep? Be like, yes. this was my dad's handle. <laughs> I, I I can do that. <laughs> this is the weirdest episode of Pawn Stars I've ever seen. <laughs> now I don't know much about uh, ancestral weapons, but I got a friend who does. Let me call him in. <laughs> this is my dad's handle. Uh, I got ten dollars. The best I can give Rufus? you for it. I, it got, it's hard to move something like this. <laughs> I assume there's guitar music in between every shot. So. Probably. Was it Chode or whatever? <laughs> one, one of the guys has a really stupid fucking name. Um, I'm Muff Duffer, this is Muff Chode, Duffer. and I'm Squim um, Squam. <laughs> it'll it'll uh, take me probably about a week to uh, create this weapon for you. Okay. So you leave the items. Yeah, like, leave and, the he, items. and he's not gonna. So I, I will not charge you for this as a recompense for what you've done for this town and what oh, you've done. Thank for you. Us. Be nice to it. <laughs> it's very special. I just learned about it just today. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, shit. So I will, I will piece together an ancestral weapon for you. Woo-hoo! Because those, uh, that's you know one of the things for those folks at home, um, I got off of the M's Guild, mm. and so it's a sword that grows with you. Oh, nice! So instead of having mm. to swap out weapons to go along, she's fully the weapon, grown. I don't think she's gonna. <laughs> the weapon will improve instead. Oh, nice! Yep. Um, I have a. Do you have like an an engraving like? Paper I can oh, write. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I ha- yeah, we have something we need engraved on a little plaque. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just perhaps uh, a chain. Here you go. He, had, he, he hands you a parchment. <laughs> oh, good. He <laughs> <laughs> writes it out. <laughs> right. Here you um, go. You can probably pick that up at the uh, end of the day. Oh, awesome. I'll get I'll get Murdoch working Thank on it. So my, my son over there. <laughs> So maybe, now Daisy has a collar that <laughs> says, "My lizard no, saved me." Gonna, like, yeah, I thought it would like, yeah, it might have to, it's like, yeah, it would attach to either side of the saddle yeah. and just kind of hang, hang over, over the butt. over the butt top of her tail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a large plaque then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wait, I, have one, I, I need yeah. one more parchment. Okay, I need okay. little teeny tiny collars. One says Bettina, one <laughs> and one Bella. <laughs> well, like, how big? Chicken size. Chicken size. <laughs> Not the size maybe of a chicken. On their, but like... their wrists, so like teeny. <laughs> There's a diminishing returns during a medieval period. <laughs> 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 Fine, I'll engrave it with magic. <laughs> I'll get the, the lady at the temple to do it. <laughs> All right. Um, Teach you to try and give small business some uh, <laughs> right, <exactly>. business. <laughs> um, by the way, you guys leveled up again. I'll figure out the exact XPs, but you guys definitely leveled up again. Woo-hoo. Okay. Woo-hoo. Yay. I mean, you defeated so the level living family. Four. Too. So we didn't get anything except a magic item. Like what else? I don't know. It's a, poor, wow. it's a poor town. Oh, they gave us free room and board. Didn't yeah. They? And they like, gave us houses that we could have. Yeah. yeah, you guys can keep it's the It's like house. the end of the Hunger Games. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Wait, so do we each have our own house? Yeah. Or do we have, like... Yeah, no. if, you wish, if you wish to live nope. in this town and have this be your base Games. of operations, have at it. That's mm-hmm. what this... That's nope. This is a starter town that was built for that. I have Where house. can I nice. buy lumber to make a chicken coop? Uh, you can get an axe, <laughs> or probably can I get what you can take Murdoch? another house. You could probably take an entire house store. for your chickens. Or I can take just Murdoch take a house. And, um, Listen to Jody. 
Huh? Just take an entire other house. <laughs> you can always that's, just take one of the, the empty farmhouses out. Okay, they bit. probably already have chickens. There's a ton probably. of them. Probably. Yeah, that's they what I'm saying. They probably still have chickens. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Or were they, they eaten chickens. by the mist. They probably were eaten by all the wolves oh, and true. bats. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm spending all my time cleaning blood off the chicken coop. <laughs> <laughs> I just find a nice big house that's got wide doors. Nice. <laughs> all right. All right, so there you go. So, end of story, you guys leveled up. Yay! You got items. Yay. You got houses. Here you got a chicken. Oh, yeah. No, I already have the chicken. <laughs> she got a place for the chickens. There we go. With peace brought back to Blackpool, our heroes find themselves with a new home and some quiet time at their disposal. What's next for these intrepid adventurers? Find out next time on Of Dice and Dens, a D&D podcast. <laughs> <laughs>